I have here a three-dimensional shape. You should picture the shape from one of the exercises in the book. I should remember the shape, rather. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this three-dimensional shape into a top, front, and side view by copying and rotating it. This is a bit of a shortcut. This is analogous to how you mentally rotate and copy shapes in your head when you have to do these different views. So I'll copy that out to there. Rotate this shape. Uh, down the right axis. So I'll rotate it up like so. And then we'll copy it over this way. And, and again, I'm going to 3D rotate it. Um, this time it's going to be about that axis. So now we have our views. What have I done wrong? This top view is right, but this one isn't. This is, if you look at the way it appears in the book, that's, that's upside down from what's there. And this view as well, it's hard to tell in, uh, with the views we've got currently turned on, but this is the back of the shape we're looking at. I want it to end up on the front of the shape. What have I done wrong? I've rotated here deliberately in third angle. Uh, sorry, first angle. So I can show you the, the way that I've accidentally ended up in first angle. You can kind of picture um, along this red line here, I've, I've all picked up this shape and rotated it. I've, I've, uh, when, it's, when I've made this view over on this side, it's as though the shape has been pivoted about that axis, just slammed up on its side. It's, it's fallen over in a way. And the same it can be said about this, this view here. I've, I've rotated about this bottom face and allowed it to fall into its new position. That's not really ideal. It's not what we want to do. If you rotate the shape mentally in a different axis, well, not, not even really different axis, you've just got to be able to um, see that I've, as I've moved it forward, I've not tipped it over. I've not allowed it to fall. If I want it to be in third angle, it needs to rotate the other way. So if I rotate it this way, it's like it's falling over as I move it. If I rotate it this way, it's now standing up. It's to get to the third angle view, I can't have just knocked the shape from one side. I've had to pick up the shape and rotate it in my hand or in my head and then put it back down so that it's now in the right place. And similarly, if I were to do the, the front view, it would be. Um, I would, I would not have had to have just fall, let it fall over along one edge. I would have to have picked it up, moved it, and rotated it so that it's come to this view here. So that's the, you know, the sort of better view of, of this shape. Um, if you're still having trouble, if anyone's having trouble picturing third and first angle and, and uh, getting it in their heads, I can try and work around some other tutorials, just leave some comments or something in the YouTube post if, you, um, if you've got any suggestions on what we can do. But it's very important that you, you understand the difference between first and third angle. Um, yeah, if, if you're not able to, to grasp that, it's going to be very hard to draw professional drawings. But with practice, you know, you'll, I'm sure you'll all manage. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful.